Oh man. Oh, that's beautiful. It's here. Oh man. I've been waiting for this for weeks. That's, uh, let's see, five, ten, four, four, four. So 22 times 10, 220 cases. Pallet. Next round, let's go. All right, round three. We got these awesome pieces of poster board. It's like you could fit an uncut sheet in there. And I got a little system. It's a one, two, three, four, four by five. First five and two. Four, six. Uh, two, four, six plus five is 11. 11 times four, 44. So that's five trips. Could break down a whole pallet in five trips. Oh, uh, that's cool. I'm gonna keep this as a souvenir. Legend Story Chicago, pallet five of 25. Lucky number five. Let's see if there's a uh, sketch card in here. All right, we are done. Five out of five trips. The little pallet crate is there. Last, uh, let's see. 11 times 4, 44. Done with 220. Cleaning up after myself. Little story though. Oh my God, well these guys were uh, moving this pallet over. They were, were they guiding it from the back and pushing it and me, my, I was guiding it and stabilizing it from the front. The entire pallet, you know, with all its weight and the pallet jack and whatnot, it cracked into the top of my big toe and um, like the nail of my big toe went like this way and I was in so much pain. I literally like bent it back. I'm afraid to see, like I was in enormous pain for 10 plus minutes, but I still, you know, grinded through it. Still got 220 cases up to uh, my domicile. And uh, I don't know, there might be a uh, interesting opening video exposing a, uh, Messed up toe, who knows? I'll pull through though. All right, all right, all right. I guess we're gonna open up some stuff. Uh, my other foot's obviously okay. This is the, the moment of truth. I've been moving stuff after my injury for like an hour. Ugh. Okay, okay. Only a little bit of blood, looks like. Only a little bit of blood, I think. Uh, that doesn't look good. Ooh, it's painful. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna get some ice first. Oh man, yeah, you can see it went through. Uh, it's not gonna be pretty, hold on. All right, we're back. Two hours and two ice bags later. Moment the truth, this is gonna be gross. Ugh, got stuff ready. I've got alcohol just in case. I don't have band-aids or bandage, so I've got tape. Tape, the wife is not around and I can't, not really mobile right now. Ugh, all right, we're gonna go in. This is gonna be yucky and it's also gonna suck especially with alcohol i think ah it's stuck ah shit the nail and the stuck ow ah oof oof that is tender that hurts ah okay gotta stop being a baby wow that is gross that is gross that took my ah wow oof okay might as well Oh my god, gun ramble like this. Ah! <sighs> Oof. Oh, that sucks. Okay, that sucks. All right. Ah. Uh. Ah, <sighs> oh, stay tuned. Okay, so here's the aftermath after all the cleaning. Ah, uh, that were, was where it got bent like upwards. I literally bent it back in my sock. Oh god, and uh, the meat and everything. Man, that was super painful, but here's the aftermath. I think I'm gonna just bandage this up and uh, get back to the pallet. Uh, be right back. Okay, that concludes the first aid portion of our episode. There's a purpose to this damn thing. Wow, the things I do for the hobby. Okay, as you can see, this is a whole pallet. It's up there. I'm still sitting down, uh, nursing my wounds. But what is very interesting is that you've got low numbers like 78, 83, 
Oh, by the way, uh, teach you guys to read some palette numbers. T7, I think, um, yeah, it's gone like T1 to T9, and this is a number, and this is, I think, the wave. But usually it goes by like, this seems to be like the batch number, and 078 is the palette number, because these, T7, 177, 1, 115, these are all stable, stable. And uh, this is where it changes, 078 and 083. That means this was done uh, at least Belgium time, 7.12 a.m., 7.14 a.m. So in these two minutes, presumably five or more cases were uh, printed. So a lot of people, even in my Patreon, are asking me like, oh, why do you want an entire palette? Because if you've got a pure palette that's, uh, you know, in its original wrapping and everything, which this was, then you potentially get sequential cases because so far, at first look, I'm seeing numbers as high as 251, 251. And I found some lower numbers as low as like 50 to 51. And then there's even stuff in the middle. Like I had 83, there's a 80, see here it's 80, 713, 81, 713. I don't know where 82 is. I'll probably be able to find it and lay it all out, organize it. And then here's 83. It goes 7, 13 a.m. to 7, 14 a.m. And if I have a sample size of 220 cases and I open everything sequentially, I would say that um, the idea is that you'll get to see what a print run is and you'll get to see how everything is sorted. If there's like sequential sorting, if there's a pattern, if there's a range. Um, so I've got 220 cases, 880 boxes that I'm looking to eventually open. I wanna ask the viewers, what do you guys think? How do you guys think that I should uh, attack this as a project? Obviously it's not gonna be 220 cases in one episode, but I also don't wanna make it 10 episodes. I'm thinking like three to four episodes and if there's findings, uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, uh, gonna probably start from the lowest number. Uh, it might or might not be as low as 50, but 50 to 250, we're gonna go sequential and we're gonna go from there. But do you guys think that I should like do a one day, you know, 60 cases or 55 cases and break it down to three, four days? Or do you guys think I should like do half now, half later and just do an overview? What are you guys' thoughts? Please share, please let me know and uh, I will nurse my wounds in the meantime. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Till next time, remember to like, comment, subscribe, twiddle that notification button, and see you on the next episode. Bye guys.